This is the third person actually doing the pounding. I started it first. Then the second person and this is the third person. It's really much. This one can fit at least 15 people. Or 15 to 20 people. Or even 30 people if they don't eat that much. You see. This, it can fit 15 to 20 people. So it's quite much. Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Stephanie. I film videos from Cameroon. Today I want to show you guys how to prepare Cameroon Achu, aka a Bamenda food. So as you can see, I'm sitting in front of the kitchen because I'll be using the behind kitchen. So I want to show you guys the cocoa yams because right now it is the cocoa yams that are going on fire. Right, the cocoa yams. So let me show you that. These are the cocoa yams. I went to the river and I washed them there. They are very, very clean. These are the cocoa yams and I'm just going to put them inside my pot and then carry them to the fire. So this is how we put them in the pot. You put the bigger ones under and then the smaller ones on top. And all of this cocoa yam, they cost 2,000 francs. These cocoa yams, sometimes in the village you can put them on the fire in the evening and then you, you, you cook them in the morning. So this is all. I'm just going to top in water and then I'll carry it to the kitchen. That's the kitchen where I'm going to prepare it. So it's time for me to pound the cocoa yams. As you can see, this is our mortar. This is the mortar I'm going to use. And these are the cocoa yams. These are the cocoa yams. And then we need some water to soak our hands inside when it is hot. I don't know if you guys have seen the water. That's the water. So it's time for me to pound the cocoa yams. So I need somebody to help peel the cocoa yams while I pound them. And this is the person. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here. <laughs> so she's going to do the peeling. So let's just. You look on her face. When I know my tongue. Ah, sir, I don't have a look place. Guys, this is a fool going on. So fantamala sauce. <laughs> Guys, if you can if you can of fufu, eh, you go to heaven and come back. Look at how you drink. Oh wow, so soft, so smooth.
Kiste. Har vi set? This is a third person actually doing the pounding. I started it first, then the second person, and this is a third person. It's really much. This one can fit at least 15 people, or 15 to 20 people, or even 30 people if they don't eat that much. You see, this it can fit 15 to 20 people, so it's quite much. So we had to pound it. We have to be very fast while peeling the cocoa yams because it has to really be soft. So if they are cold, you will not come out very well. So we're very fast doing the peeling process. So now you just to mix everything. Now inside this pan, I'm going to set it aside while we wait for the soup. Normally we call this one finger around the wall because you have to use your whole finger to stir. Achu is ready. This is Achu. It's ready. So we are going now with the soup, 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 soup. soup. Kukuyam is ready, but I'm going to put the stock on fire. So we have the some intestines. Then we have red meat and kanda. And then this other one, I'll add them later. I have smoked fish and fresh fish. So I'm going to add in one Maggi cube. I'm adding in salt. Then I'm adding in water. I make sure I put in enough water so that the meat can really be soft, the kanda, everything should be soft. And then the stock from here, we are going to use it to prepare the yellow soup. So right now, it's time for you guys. This is ready. In here, we have dry fish, fresh fish, boiled pepper, we have intestines, we have meat, we have okra. So, I'm going to transfer these stocks into this bowl. And then... We continue from here okay guys so guys here are the different spices we are going to use for this actual we have this first one now they say it's called button if button okay button we have this other spice i don't even know how they are, being, they are called but we have country onion we have the bep this is very sweet and it is fresh uh i forgot how they call it we have so basically these are the spices these are the spices we are going to use and this is dry cassava so what i really told me in the market was because i've never seen this dry cassava before so what she told me in the market there was that with dry cassava it helps to thicken the soup but for me according to how we always prepare it what we do is either you can use granola to thicken the soup if you want it to be thick or you can use part of the cocoa yam and mix it inside the soup. Where you spot the cocoa and mix it inside will be very thick. We also have bush pepper. All these ones are very, very sweet. So the best way for you to get all these spice, because as for me, I don't even know the name of all these spice. The best way for you to get them is just go, go to the market and say you want to buy a two spices. They are going to give you everything that you need. So I'm just going to select the quantity I'm going to use and then the rest I'll keep it for next time. But this cassava, mm -mm, I'm not sure I'm going to use this one because I've never used it before. I don't want to try something that I don't know how it's going to look like. And then in addition to that, you can also use um what's that? Yeah. Okay, this is kangwa. A kangwa limestone. limestone, yes. This limestone. So what we are going to do with this one is we are going to steep it in water and then we sift it and then we use a sift product. And in our village, what we do is we always use dry kanda, uh, dry plantain peeling. I want to say dry kanda plantain. <laughs> dry plantain peeling. So the dry plant, when we peel plantains, we dry the peelings. When it is very dry, then we burn it and we use it. But since we don't have that yet, so we are going to use limestone. So I'll just go ahead and select the quantity I'm going to use and then grind it and show you Paul, from where i'm going to start i'm not going to show you guys the grinding process because i'm going to use a stone and it's very difficult so i will see you after the grinding process it's time for us to prepare our achu soup this is our oil it's almost um half liter of oil it has to look fresh we have our meat stock here this has to be very cold 
side we have our limestone water here which we have to sift it really sift we have our achu spice here and it is a small quantity of cassava to make it thick and we are just basically going to continue and then the next thing that is not here is salt and maggi which is part of it we already saw this uh, stock and we tasted it so before we added any other one we'll have to taste it so this is the stock cubes and that's our salt there so just go through with us and you're going to enjoy it it's recording so we are starting by sifting this uh, lime lemon stone uh, I can't want water here. You keep it down and then use this one now. Oh my god! I'm going in with more. Okay, guys, so this is how it looks like, and this is almost night time. So, this is how it is being served as well. You have your intestine, dry fish, fresh fish, your meat, your kanda, you have your okra, and then you have pepper. This okra is optional. You can equally um, actually switch this either with um, garden egg or with huckleberry. So you can switch this. So this is how it is. And oh, it's time for me to eat. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in our next video. I just want to dive on this meal, guys. I can't wait to dive on this meal. I need to make a passage for myself. You know, they call this meal one finger around the wall. So I have to make it settle. I have some extra pepper here. So anyways, guys, see you in our next video. Bye.